Coming up in a moment, if you go to drugsreport.com, you'll notice they've got some graphics up there. The earth's completely frozen. It says coldest temp ever recorded, 135.8 below zero. Soul crushing. Your teeth shatter basically instantly. You die in a matter of minutes. But Greenpeace Santa warns Christmas will be canceled due to global warming. I mean, this is this is the type of fraud we see. We're going to play that clip uh, and more coming up here in just a few minutes. But let's punch up Drudge for folks that are watching on TV. I want to I want to show them the uh, frozen planetoid there. Uh, you know, there's the reality of uh, the coldest night in 18 years in the U.S. Coldest temp ever recorded on the bottom of the Earth. That that's the AP, by the way. We'll probably have Al Gore go. There is a consensus we're warming. For a decade, at least, at least, really, it's 12 years. For more than a decade, the sun has been cooling, putting off less coronal mass ejections, as they're called. Sounds dirty, doesn't it? Coronal mass ejections from the sun, the big solar flares. And they know it's the sun that's the main driver of temperature. I will assure you, folks, that's the reason the closer you are to the sun and the solar system, the hotter your planet is. Mercury that doesn't spin, it orbits the sun, but it doesn't, it, it itself doesn't. One side of the sun, it, it, it's something like, you know, 700 degrees or something year round. It's something ridiculous. So, so the whole point is, I will assure you it's the sun. Now, the UN five years ago voted to say at the Copenhagen Vivian, the sun has no effect on climate. I'm sorry, I'm already getting to that now. I'm going to get to that in a minute. We've got our own article up on Infowars.com dealing with this asinine behavior. Uh, but it doesn't matter if Obama and uh, Raul uh, Castro of Cuba say that the earth is warming and you need to pay the globalist carbon taxes, then it's true. So sit down and shut up. And if Obama says you're not going to lose your health care plan or have, or have the price go up, it's true, even though it's not. And if he says they're not targeting the Tea Party, even though their own documents show they are, then it's true. They control reality. They're history's actors now, to quote Karl Rove. They are in control. Actually, they're not. And their delusion is now wearing very thin like a balloon that's been blown up too much. Reagan advisor, market valuation has lost every anchor to real world. And it's not just there. It's across the entire board. And let's play this uh, from Bloomberg and, and, and analyze the rare truth uh, aired on the Bloomberg TV network. Here it is. Well, I mean, I think this is meaningless, basically. It's the kind of speculative froth you get at the top of a cycle uh, where valuation loses any anchor in the real world and in earnings and in the prospects of the economy. Uh, take, the S take the Russell 2000. That's Main Street Company, small mid-cap. Mm -hmm. Trading at 85 year. times trailing reported earnings. That makes no so sense. So are you saying the equity market's a bubble right uh, now? Of course. Yeah, it's total fraud and and the big banks that own the majority of the stock market and control it they're the shareholders in the private federal reserve so this is like the bank robber being the police chief and he says uh i've decided that we're going to send in a group to rob the bank and it's okay and then he sends the police to rob the bank and then they do it in front of everyone and then we go hey that's illegal and really dangerous and going to screw everybody over shut up crazy t terrorists well you want you plan something violent don't you i bet you're going to blow something up well let's go to msnbc and cnn yeah he's behind the boston bombing and racist the fact that they would even say that with no proof folks shows how brazen these criminals are i mean these are scary people and I'll tell you right now, I've never seen corrupt dictators and people get this wild with a country this big. And they got nuclear weapons, and they think the whole world is just going to follow this fraud. But then they're not even managing the fraud correctly, and it's all going to blow up. So the elite are all digging in in bunkers. Thanks a lot, man. Really, thanks a lot. And you tell me that you've got to take all my rights away because of Al-Qaeda, which you publicly run. And then that's now all completely public. I mean, I am living in the twilight zone. This is the twilight zone. My, my wife thinks we live in the matrix or something. Sometimes I think she's right. Because I can't believe I'm like one of the most prominent people fighting this. And I'm just some guy from Texas. It's all completely clear. I don't want to be in this position. I wish the elite were not completely megalomaniacal and on narcissistic power trips insane. I just want this crazy train to stop. Man, I want off.
because there's always going to be problems and corruption in humanity, but this is just mental illness, man. I used to really argue with top experts that said, look, there's a method to control a grid, but they're not in complete control and they're really screwed up and it won't turn out like they want. They're probably going to blow the planet up. And I'm like, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. They're so smart. It's easy to make up all these big plans because they've got control of our money and our labor. That's why they look so big and powerful and red carpets and the whole illusion that they're unstoppable and $10,000 suits and, you know, all the rest of it and $10,000 uh, dresses and you know, perfect dental work and the best schools. But they're smoking their own propaganda, their own baloney. They're believing their own garbage. And historically, this is really what happens with all the big empires, except now they've got bioweapons and nukes. And it's going to take the elite realizing they're out of control and have their own psychosis. And the public, of course, is pathetic as well. But just because the public's pathetic and decadent, myself included, doesn't mean that you get to blow the planet up because you got in a position of power, social Darwinism. Now, let's shift gears, ladies and gentlemen, to another economic area. Under Obama, troops forced to rely on welfare holiday charity, the Washington Times reports. Top 40% paid 106% of income taxes. Bottom 40% paid 9.1, got average of 18,950 back in, quote, government trend wealth transfers. The government even calls it wealth transfers. Three hurt in hatchet attack at East Texas Walmart. Well, the answer is ban hatchets. That's obviously what did this. Now, let's shift gears to the big fraud here. This is a uh, produced piece. I'm not going to play the whole thing from uh, put out by Greenpeace that Greenpeace's own founder said doesn't care about real environmental problems that are out there. And the symphony of destruction, as Dave Mustaine has properly pointed it out with species and things, they just use it as a way to push carbon taxes and socialism. Watermelons, green on the outside, red on the inside. And now you've got Santa in, in, in this room like a bunker with a flashing light. And there's not going to be a Christmas, and it's a famous actor doing it. And I, I forget who he is. I just know that's a famous Shakespearean actor. What's his name? And the point is, is that uh, I actually like that actor. How disgusting. I almost don't want to know what these people are into, you know. Because uh, I admire humanity. You know, for the love of humanity, I like people. Then I found out what they stand for, and they're just idiots. Or they're worse. They're parasites. Here he is saying there'll be no Santa. I, I mean, no, uh, no uh, Christmas. And, of course, it's a hoax character pushing a hoax. Now, listen, folks, the coldest temperature ever recorded, and they've been able to get temperature for what, with thermometers for about 300 plus years. The coldest temperature ever recorded, coldest temp ever recorded, the AP is reporting 135.8 below zero. Soul crushing cold. Coldest temperature in the United States in 18 years. In Chicago, ladies and gentlemen, and then meanwhile, they are telling us that there will not be Christmas because the North Pole has melted. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the exact same garbage where they come out and tell you that polar bears are all dying when their numbers are up fivefold. Look it up. They're running around like roaches because no one wants them. Beautiful, exotic roaches. I mean, I like polar bears. You know, they just eat. The reason grizzly bears don't go more northerly is a polar bear will just wipe them out in seconds. Most powerful land creature. Can swim recorded over 250 miles in below zero water. You go, below zero, that would freeze. Not salt water, folks. It freezes a lot lower. Can swim hundreds of miles in sub-zero water. It goes out with one arm and hauls in 2,000-pound beluga with one arm. These guys think they're tough because they can bench press 600 pounds. How about 2,000 pounds or more with one arm? Boom, pull a whale in. They're, they're all dead, though, and the penguins can't swim either, Al Gore says. Fraud, scam artist, scum. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. My son Rex Jones is in studio with us, and he really has a passion for liberty, science, and news. And as soon as his mama lets him, you're going to be able to see his face. And I want him down here every week doing reports for us. He's a lot smarter than I am in many ways, and he constantly, he comes to work with me every few weeks. 
he constantly corrects things that I'm saying on air and, and you know, Bible verses, you name it, because he's got that young brain like I used to have. And he told me, Dad, Mercury does actually rotate, but extremely slowly. And I only discovered it with high-tech telescopes in 1990. I read that in, my, in, in, in one of the adult science books or whatever. So we looked it up during the break, and Universe Today does report that it does rotate. Uh, but uh, the day is 1,999 times as long as a single year. So I guess it uh, you know, rotates uh, every 58,647 uh, days and orbits twice during every three rotations. So whatever that means. So, but, but for all intents and purposes, my point was is one side's molten and the other side isn't, Rex. But go ahead and correct me on air. That's good. We need you here as a fact checker. Thank you, Dad. And there's one thing I want to say um, before I leave studio. The um, I, I um, I'm not sure that it was discovered exactly in 1990. The, this new fact that I told my dad about, but I do know that it was discovered after he was in school, or else the school would have taught him that basic information. So, oh, so you were guessing that? No, 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 no. No, no. no it does say since the '90s here. I think I think you remember that correctly. Okay. okay well, that's very interesting. Tell us, uh, tell us a couple other uh, planetoid facts. All right. Did you know that a retrograde that v, but that both Venus and Mars have a retrograde rotation, which basically means that even though they even though it looks like the planet is orbiting forward, it's actually orbiting backwards. Another cool planetary... Let me ask you a question. Do you think Al Gore's right that the Earth is warming even though it's overall getting colder? And then they also say that uh, that, the, that Mars uh, has, has ice caps uh, that, are, that are melting uh, a decade ago or so when the sun was actually heating up. They say that isn't connected to the Earth's heating. All right. I think that Al Gore is a very deep liar. He could say that the Easter Bunny poops out chocolate gabules of goodness and that the leprechaun has silver teeth that are manufactured. Well, that's actually true of Al Gore, says it. Oh, yes. We must honor the great Al Gore. <laughs> of course he's wrong. This is... Like, why don't you just... Going why don't you just do what he says? I don't do what he says. So you're not going to submit to world government? Yes. Your God? I don't want to submit to it. And here, let me tell you something, a cool fun fact. Did you know that the, actually in the Industrial Revolution, when we're, there was the most on record CO2 being released, it was actually the world had experienced a dramatic, and I do mean dramatic with a capital D, drop in temperature. That's right, because the soot blocked the sun. Exactly. It's actually a reverse effect. How dare you question the king oh, yes. liberals that are bombing everyone Most. and authoritarian. They're liberal. They're trendy. I mean, Apple has the suicide factories. That's liberal. Get out of here, hate monger. No. No, get out of racist. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize for that. In fact, in the name of the Fairness Doctrine, we've discovered that actually the health care plan is a great deal written to help you, not to bankrupt you or make you dependent. It's a wonderful good deal. I actually discovered it's real this weekend, so here's that video audio report uh, for everybody right now. Ladies and gentlemen, something incredible has happened. I have actually found proof that Obamacare is real is free and is a great deal and doesn't raise your premiums and wasn't written by foreign insurance companies to rob people. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found something that proves it's real and not a myth and not a It's hoax. a mechanical Santa Claus in a Ladies restaurant. Ladies and gentlemen, Santa Claus, I give you proof because if Santa Claus is real and gives you free things and you lie to your kids and tell them that uh, He's going to bring you free things. If he's real, and it's a conspiracy theory to say he isn't, well, then this fake Santa Claus masquerading as the real fake Santa Claus is real, just like Obamacare. Hey, bring my son back and in real you quick. say that that's a lie, you are a racist. So here's all his old friends. There's the Tannenbaum. By the way, a Chinese factory did not build the Santa Claus. Obama built it. 
And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's good. Rex, do Absolutely. you want to admit now that Obamacare is a good deal and real, Obama doesn't lie, and Santa Claus is real? Do you want to make it better for Homeland Security to know that you love North Korea? Personally, I believe that... That's actually where Santa lives, is North Korea. No, 